lads. Happy New Year, Gus here. Uh, just a quick video for you. I'm not going to be shaving, well I am in a, in a few minutes, but I just thought I'd run through some of my soaps of 2015. And now these aren't the best ones, or, or well not the best, but um, you know these aren't the more exotic ones. These are the ones I thought I'd do where I, it's your daily shavers for me. These are the ones that if you need a shave, yeah, it's just a normal, normal shave. These are the ones I'd go to and I sort of have these in a rotation. And then if I'm feeling fancy, like at the weekend or something like that, you get you get one of your special ones out from the States or, or whatever. Um, I, I have been trying to order them. I've been looking at them here now and I'm, I'm still not sure. Um, there are a couple of ones from the States, but they're mainly they're mainly European. So, uh, but there are a couple from the States. Hold on, let me just check. Ten. Nine. Uh, yeah, looks right. Yeah, yeah. So, number ten. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Tabac. Classic scent. Always great performance for me. It's a classic 70s masculine cologne set. Um, very hard, very hard pop. Um, so that's going to last a while. I've got it in the ceramic jar. I know you can get it in the shave stick. And, uh, I think there's cream as well. Quite easy to get. Not expensive. Last for ages. I like the, I like the jar as well. It's a nice ceramic jar so that's number 10 that, that's one that's in my sort of like permanent rotation I've also got the balm and the aftershave as well classic classic still number nine is um, inexpensive and for me brilliant palm olive you cannot beat this I think this is 150-ish in the shops for a big tube of cream. Um, and I was just in Morrison's a few minutes ago and the shave stick was 25 pence. 25 pence. That they performed both the same for me. Great performance, slick, cushioning, doesn't dry your face. You can't beat it. Anybody starting out and they're not sure what to get. You get a Wilkinson sword, you know, the cheap one, the black one, I'm not sure what it's got, you know, if it's got a name, but get that online, get one of these, and, a, and an aftershave, and you're done. An Allen Block or some Thayers, that's it, you're sorted. And this will, this will last a long time. Then if you don't like it, and it's an inexpensive way of getting into it, I mean, then don't get me wrong, you'll be spending a fortune, but... For an inexpensive way of getting into it, that's that one. Um, number eight. Yeah, ten, no, yeah. Number eight for me, uh, only because I've, I've only just got it, but I've used it numerous times. The, the Toa, the, the Toya, I'm, I'm not 100% how to pronounce this. I love this. Very nice scent. It's aquatic, mud type of thing, um, marine. But I, I just love it. I just love it. Great performance from the shave stick. I think this was four quid or, or something like that, four and a half quid. And again, very. It's hard. It'll last you ages. Cracking. So, I've also got the uh, aftershave lotion. And Andrew Lockhart kindly sent me um, the, the jar of balm as well, there's, there's about a quarter left. Fantastic, thank you Andrew. And both of those I love, I, re I really do enjoy using that. So that was, uh, so that was eight. Um, seven, the old favourite. Well, I've got two actually, but this one first. Because I don't use this, in this, you know, I've got a couple of menthol sites, but Again, another classic, another staple that every den should have. Great performance, lovely scent, good 
mental kick, nice in the summer. This one always comes away with me when I go travelling. Great, you know, when it's hot, you get that lovely cooling menthol. Really like the performance and the, uh, the aftershave or the, the lotion is fantastic. Um, every dent should have it. It's great performing cream, very inexpensive. This is great for travel. Uh, yeah, you have to you have to check it because it's it's not. But you could soon squirt some out into a, into a tub and it'd last you the the whole two weeks or forever long you you travelling. So what we have? That's uh, ten nine eight seven six six is. I'm gonna, this is one of my American ones. Now, I said something fancy, but for me, scent-wise, this is hard to beat. Performance is great. Um, I love this. Fougere Santal. I could sit there smelling that all day. It's, uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful performance. I like Reef Point. Uh, great soap. So I've got the espresso. I'm trying to get test depth, but I can't seem to get hold of it. So I might have to take a punt at getting it from uh, over the pond, but uh, yeah, it, you know, it's Reef Point, fantastic. Fougere Santel, if you've not smelled this or tried it, do. Right, the next one. Hold on, 10, 9, 8, 7. Five, sorry, I should have been more. Five macaroon. Now, the scent on this, some people don't like it. It's the scent of like wet dog, or no, you could say that back to back, I suppose. But I've got wet dogs, I've got two dogs, and they don't smell like this. The protection that you get from this and the slickness are amazing. But if I'm going to do a strike shave, and I don't normally do them on video because they take me so long. Normally I'd reach for that. Just because of the protection and the slipness that it gives you. Great stuff. Really, really cool. And uh, very inexpensive as well. Easy to get hold of. Um, four. Ooh, it's, it's getting down to it now. Four. It's another Parasso. Parasso White. Now, I, um, this, is, this is a great soap, lovely little tub, uh, again inexpensive, it's, it's, you can press it, but it's not, it's not, you know, it's not soft, I mean it doesn't come away on your finger, so, um, I suffer from uh, eczema, I've done all my life since I was a kid. And unbelievably, I haven't got sensitive skin, but I get, I get very dry skin. I can use virtually whatever soap I want. Maybe because it's so dry, I don't know. But if I've got dry skin and it, and it tends to, to go in cycles, I use this. And I just keep using this for a few days. And I have to use other things as well. But this really, really helps. I think it's oatmeal in it. And and something else, wheat germ, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, you'd have to look it up. I can't read that on the back. Um, but that really, really, really helps, the Parasso White. I've heard, uh, I was reading a comment from Simon Griffiths last night, that the blue is meant to be very good, I know Woods likes the red, I haven't got the red, I've just got the green and the white, but this one, if I've got dry skin, that's what I turn to. And that gets a lot of use. I've got a lot of love for press, so I do like it. Three. Three is my old favourite, and one I keep coming back to. Tops. So Sorry about that. Um, great soap. Great performance. Always slick, cushioning. Fantastic scent, as you can see. I'm nearly done on this one. This one I've had for quite a while now, most of 2015. Um, 
others to come and sites to come and they sort of put this but you always sort of like reach for this one I've got the German Street and the Almond as well and they, they both perform fantastically so number three and one that's very dear to my heart because it was one of the first soaps I bought after using the palm olive actually um, I sort of got into it, watched a few videos, bought the razor on, online and I didn't, I didn't know about the websites then so uh, I went into John Lewis's who stopped tops and uh, Pick that one up, cracking little, cracking side of that. The German Street, fantastic as well, good for sensitive skin. And the Almond as well, which my wife bought me the other way, uh, has a fantastic scent. It's, it's like shaving with, with Almond slices from Mr. Kipling. Number two, Bomb BE, fantastic. This stuff is amazing. It really is. It's got a lovely cologne scent, good stuff, um, slickness, gone. You have to be careful what razor I'm using because it's that slick. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of this. I'm down to the bottom, so I should see the back of this in the next couple of months. And yes, I will, I will replace it. Yeah, it's, it's good for your skin. Um, it's a I believe it's it's a Belgian soap. I believe, which is the the BE, uh, and it was all made by a guy that, that suffered with with skin problems like myself, and he uh, he decided to make his own shave soap, creams, etc. And it's become very famous. I so will get the balm, but uh, they're not cheap. You know, it's, it's not cheap, it's not an expensive one, but it is good. It is very good. And, yeah, you know, it's worth it, I think. Great for straight shaving, as you can see with the, the razor on the front, but, but good for all, all types of shaving. Very slick, very cushioning, cracking stuff. If you haven't got some, get some, because it's, uh, it's a belt, it's, it's, a, it's a cream. Don't need a lot, um, so you can see that I've used this quite heavily because it's it's nearly all gone. And that might be the shade this afternoon. I don't know actually. I haven't decided yet. Number one, number one, the one I always reach to. Excuse me, and the one I absolutely love. Now I said about getting your fancy ones out for the weekend and all that, but, but this soap is bang on the scent that I love. And it's absolutely amazing. The performance is fantastic, as always, with Katie's Bubbles, Le Marche de Ressage. Now, this was a, a limited edition for some shaving group, and then they bought it out. But this is the dogs. This is the one for me. This is, if I'm not sure, I'll just reach for this. Simple as that. Simple as that. It's that. Oh, it's that aquatic, ozone-y, seaside type thing that I love. Um, and the performance is fantastic. And it's just the scent of it that gets me every time. And, it, and I find myself reaching for it more and more. You know, I just do. I, I, I just pick it up and because I love it that much. And it also pairs very well with the uh, Davidoff Cool Water. Um, my girls bought me, you know, like a gift set. So I've got the balm now as well, which is fantastic. I've got to buy the aftershave, and then I've got the full set. Pairs very well with that. Another one that goes with it is uh, Reef Point Test Act, which is which is why I want it. Um, so yeah, awesome. That's my number one for last year. Absolutely fantastic for me. The scent for me, bang on. I can smell it, which is always a bonus. My sense of smell after the job I used to do is it's coming back, but it got blown away after 30 years of working in a factory. But oh, it, just, it, just, it reminds me, I love being on holiday. I, I like going to the seaside, isn't it? It's the smell that takes me, takes me off to them places, you know, like the, the ha ha 
happy places, you know, like, and you know, like you, you wake up and you're near the beach and you can smell the sea. It's just that like ozone, and it's it's just that's what it does. But that's what scents can do, isn't it? They they can take you back to a place where you were, where you know, and it it, it triggers something. And, that's why I love shaving this way. You know, they all, they all perform pretty good to me. You know, but it's, it's just the scent. Some of the scents are like, you know, like the almond, like the fougere, you know, some like tobacco. Reminds me of sort of like my dad. Um, you know, back in the day, being down the bloody pub, you know, I've had to, with them, you know, and all your, your uncles and aunties. Well, your uncles, maybe aunties, aren't they? You know, smelling of that, or high karate, or old spice. You know, it smells like your old, your old bathroom back in the day in the, in the seventies. But anyway, that's my number one. Uh, I'll give a quick mention as well um, to um, James Riley. Um, I haven't used these much, but I've got the uh, OSP, the obsessive. So perfectionist. I've got the lavender, and I've got the um, grapefruit and mental. This one is fantastic for in the morning. You know, if you want to, if I get up early enough and have a shave before work, uh, yeah, you really get that citrus burst. But you can you can get the menthol behind it, and the lavender's lovely, nice, relaxing. Good lavender scent on that. And like, like Wood says, I must agree with Wood actually, you can, you can smell, get a whiff of the base ingredients, but that's no bad thing because they're all good. You know, it's all cocoa butter, shea butter, stuff like that. And they're, and they're cracking performers and really good. So if you haven't got any OSP yet, look him up. You know, it's, it's, they're top stuff. I, I believe there's new scents coming out and splashes. So I'll, uh, I'll definitely be doing that. Right, um, that's about it for me. Um, one more thing that I always use for any lads, Davis. I've gone away from the Allen block. I don't know why, but, well, I do know why, because I dropped it and I've got a tiny little bit and I couldn't, I haven't been asked to order another one because I had this. So I use this after every show and it's fantastic for my skin. It takes a lot of redness out get red skin and it's got aloe vera as well very good for calming your skin down after the show top stuff if you haven't got some get some uh, that's about it razors I haven't really got a razor you know you just you just you just use them on a loop you know the, the dot that I got the Phoenix double open comb from uh, Ben in the fifth is fantastic it's a great little razor um, some people don't like it, maybe put a bigger handle on it. Um, but, you know, it works for me. Anyway, guys and girls and whoever else watches, uh, thanks for watching. If you like it, please subscribe. You know, I'm not, you know if you can. Um, but thanks for watching. I wish you all a very happy, healthy and prosperous new year. And uh, I'll see you soon for the next bit. All the best, lads. Cheers.